Hey guys, today we are going to go over some of the biggest risers of the Pro Tour Eldritch Moon and what happened to the card and what I believe will happen to the card in the future. Now, the Pro Tour, the Pro part of Pro Tour stands for promotional. And the whole concept of the Pro Tour is to promote the newest set, to get people excited, to get people to buy. And one of the clearest ways to do that is to show these cards winning and dominating and therefore you would go out and buy them from a secondary vendor that secondary vendor would then open more product and that's the that's the cycle so you never want to buy cards at two periods in time one is pre-release cards are the highest at pre-release and the second time is after a pro tour uh, i'm going to take emoco as a very case study of how what happened to its price Lily right now is $44 at one point she was $50 still a incredible card but I don't think it's can hold even $44 I think it's a sub $40 card Emiko is a very good case study in pre-release it was around $25 a card then during the Eldritch Moon Pro Tour it was around $30 a card and now it's back down to $26 um, could it go down more? Yes, it could go down more. Uh, mainly because unless a card sees significant modern play, it's unlikely to hold this price. It's unlikely to be over $20. Now, the one exception to this card recently is Jace, Vin Prodigy. And that card is unique because not many people open Origins. I don't know if you know this, but... Origins was one of the least opened recent sets by far. Um, it was not drafted heavy. It was not open for uh, singles heavy. It just wasn't open. And that's left uh, Jace very in a very unique circumstance. He was in the last core set that no one was hyped about. Wizard of Coast wasn't even hyped about the last core set. And no one opened it. So there wasn't that many of him in the market and that's why his price was $70 at one point and held at $70 but now we kind of see what his true actual price is and he plus he was one of the most dominating cards in the format for the longest time the last card we're going to take a look at is the spider and as you can kind of see sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down sometimes it goes up and that's one of the unique points about uh, pre-release pre um, as well as pre-spiking from the Pro Tour. They will go down. They have nowhere to go but down. It is very uncommon for a card to go up at the Pro Tour and then hold its price. The price always goes down somewhat. And as you can see, the Spider goes down around $3, which again is a trend and I think this trend is going to continue until the next event uh, mainly again the Pro Tour is meant to hype up these cards and it does a very good job doing so uh, but overall you shouldn't be buying cards right after a Pro Tour you should wait a week around game day maybe a week later um, the longer you can wait on these cards the cheaper they will be generally speaking Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Leave me a comment below um, about what you thought about this video, what you think about these cards, where you feel like the cards price will be, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.